Hello friends, today I am going to show how to develop the unit test in MEC with 10 unit and mock object. I have taken I have taken this class an example. It has uh, implemented with these two requirements. One first one is where the number is divided by three, it's written true. The the day is Wednesday, written the word this. So we will see the implementation how to develop this develop this. So if you see the class implementation, it has implemented IPSBuzz interface. So this interface has these two methods. This method has the logic for the if the number is divided by three, it should return two. This this method has implemented with this logic. This logic. And the second requirement if today is Wednesday, return the word with. If you see the display method, it has that requirement, that implementation. So it is um, checking if the day of the week is Wednesday, return with. Okay, return with. At the same time, this class has a constructed, accepting as a interface i name of the day. And it is assigning to the local variable name of the day. So this is the class developed with this requirement. So now I would like to show how to write the unit tests for this class. So now everything is ready. We can start writing unit test methods for this class. Yeah, first we need to install a new unit and to our, uh, to our unit test project uh, that, uh, this we can uh, uh, done using the manage needed pack package so uh, since I already installed to my project I will just show what are the versions I have installed to to, uh, to this project uh, so if we, if we search a new unit <coughs> so this is the library I have installed to my solution uh, version 2.6.4 for n unit for mock so this is the version I have used so this is the class we are going to use to write the unit unit test methods uh, first we need to reference to the n unit libraries to this class Next is the mock. Okay. Once add the required DLLs to this class, the next step is the next we need to add the attributes to this class. So if you don't add uh, this class is not available for the unit test. Then I have prepared few methods. I'm just copy pasting empty methods. This is the load in the context at initial stage. So we need to put this on uh, this uh, as setup. So if we want to add any methods to testable, we need to add the test. First, we need to create an instantiate for this class since this class has implemented with IPSPS. I created a temporary variable IPSPS by checking.
if you if you see this code suppose so by any chance let's imagine the name of the day class in turn it is calling some database and getting some data from database and returning to this, this class let's imagine so due to some issues so db is not working it's down in that case we can't able to test my fish class right this class due to it has dependency on uh, this name of the day class to avoid that we have the concept called mock so i will mock this uh, this name of the day class with some dummy data so i will show you how to what is the exact use where we can use so to mock that first we need to um, create object for i name of the day And I am passing instead of actual object, I am passing mock object. So now my setup is ready. Whenever instantiate this class, it automatically create object for the this, this class with mock object so now I will write I will test I will write unit test for the for is divisible method so for that I have the fizz class object this is divisible and result. so if you see this method the method name should be more clear so what is it is saying that should get true if the given input number is divisible so if the so i am passing 15 so 15 should be divisible uh, is divisible by 3 so i should get the result as true so i am passing asset i am checking the result asset dot r equal to result Suppose if everything is goes fine, this this test case should be pass. I will build this one. I'll put the debug point here. So right click, debug the test.
if you see the result you will see the result here it should be passed because uh, the 15 is divisible by 3 now I will implement it the, the second uh, test method should get quiz if number is divided by 3 here I will show you how to use mark for uh, I name name of the day class so the steps is set up x dot is day of the week day of the week witness day written marks so it is saying if it is Wednesday I am saying written false so I am creating some dummy data for this method whenever it is getting called it automatically returns the false it is not direct uh, directly calling this method we are we are uh, telling the compiler that whenever this object is try to call or then calling this method return this dummy data that is the basic use of the mock object now i have So I am calling the display method here. Suppose if I try to uh, accept output. Output. With, So the same way I can implement same. Should get written which if day is witness day. Suppose if day is witness day means true. I will make it true because I want to return true. Okay. So I, I will return here as this. So I will uh, 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 hit, hit the build. So build got succeeded. I will run the unit test. All unit test. So this So everything should get passed here. So if you see that the all test cases get passed. I hope you understand uh, how to develop the uh, n unit with mark in MEC. So first we need to, I will summarize that, first we need to uh, add the assemblies for n unit, n unit and n frame mark as well as mark and we need to uh, create, uh, add the attributes for class and text fixer. And if you want to set up any anything first way uh, before uh, calling your method, this way we can set up. And so if you want to uh, write a uh, if you want, your method needs to be tested, so we need to decorate it with test attribute. Uh, for marking, this is the way we can mark uh, for our object like database calls and web service calls. So we can uh, mark 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 the any service and we can return our dummy data it is more useful uh, when, whenever we have dependencies for database so this on this way we can verify our result this is the 
we can we have different types of methods uh, we can verify but i have uh, shown for a basic thing so we have different ways we can verify our results 